Craig Adams here from Wedding Film School and today I'm going to be talking about on-subject audio, specifically for wedding filmmakers. And what that refers to is a kit, which is an audio recorder and a mic, and I recommend three to four of these kits per wedding. If you want to be recording, you know, ceremony and speeches, it's good to have three to four, I recommend. And I've got three different kits here, all at different price ranges, all different sound quality, all different equipment. So let's test them. So starting with the most expensive, the Sennheiser AVX is what you're listening to right now. And it's a $700 kit for the microphone, transmitter, receiver, and cables, plus another hundred and some change for the Zoom H1 and the micro SD card that goes with it. So at over $800, this is a very expensive, top of the line wireless kit and you may not want wireless for weddings actually it may be smarter to have a hard line set like these other two so the second kit is the countryman b3 with a right angle adapter going into a zoom h1 um, and this kit comes in at about 300 dollars 320 uh, with everything included and it sounds great, you know, it's a very simple kit. The microphone is made with a Sennheiser locking screw, which you can't really use, which I wish you could. Um, but other than that, everything works for it. It's just a little more expensive than the, the last kit that I wanna talk about, which is the Rode SmartLav Plus with a SR SC3 adapter going into the Zoom H1. And you need this adapter because it is a TRRS to TR S signal adapter, right? So it makes this smartphone lav be able to be used uh, on your Zoom H1, which is a different 3.5 connector. So after testing them all, I think the smart lav going into the adapter into the Zoom H1 is the best way to record on-person audio for weddings. You could easily get three to four of these without, you know, spending too much money, which you would on the other sets, but you still have great audio. But of course, don't just take my word for it. I've got all three rolling right now and I'm just gonna cycle through the different recorders, combos with their microphones. And uh, you, can, you can test and listen and see what you like best. Um, there are little differences between all three. I've done my tests and I think that when you have music and like everything and you do your EQ effects to the, to the voice, I think the smart lav is totally doable and it's the cheapest, so why not? But there are so many different combinations of microphone recorder and ways to record audio on the day of the wedding. So I'm interested in hearing what you use. Um, is it better, worse? Are you happy with it? Are you looking to change into something else? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you. But if this video helped in any way, if you liked it, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. See ya.